Children from a variety of adverse environments all have higher rates of poor outcomes on the same set of characteristics. The question is, is there a common mechanism here? Is there something in common? Well, the latest hypothesis is that, yes, there could be a common uh, process here, and that common process is chronic stress. Under conditions of chronic stress, the body's biochemistry changes. To deal with stress, usually in an adaptive way, but if you have this over a long period of time, that otherwise adaptive response becomes toxic, which is where we get the expression toxic chronic stress. The body immediately reacts in different ways to dealing with the stress. You either flee or you fight. <laughs> so in the extreme you get out of there or you shut down or uh, you resist and you try to take action and this is ordinarily a good thing but if it's chronic and every day these kinds of reactions in the biochemistry that goes with it becomes corrosive and that starts to affect brain development uh, the body's use of, of food uh, immunizations, etc. Typical orphanages, which are extreme neglect, uh, homelessness, uh, children reared in families in which there's abuse and neglect, uh, families that have drug and alcohol or mental health problems uh, in the parents, uh, even low-income families that have a variety of risk factors such as single parent, uh, extreme uh, uh, low income, so that uh, all of the daily needs are a struggle and the parent doesn't have time for the child because they're trying to get from here to there every day. Uh, so all of these can produce chronic toxic stress. The result is that these children in extreme environments are smaller. They don't perform as well on mental tests. They have poor executive functioning, which means they don't plan well and sequence things. They don't have emotional control, so they have to get a reward right away. They can't delay. They don't plan a sequence of events very well. And if you think about these very basic functions, it's no wonder they perform more poorly in school and in life. First, reduce the chronic stress. And the best way is to promote uh, a home environment that is less stressful by providing certain ser services to the parents to get their basic needs met so their parent can provide sensitive, responsive uh, caregiving and promote relationships. And we know that those kinds of relationships reduce the toxic stress. Every child needs and should have uh, a caring, loving, responsive, permanent family. 